Thanks for stopping on in for today's college football pick video play for October 5th, 2018. If you're interested in getting all of our plays for week six in college football, you can access all of those plays against the spread over at stumpthespread.com, which is linked down in the video description. Heading to this one, going to be talking about this rivalry matchup in the state of Utah between Utah State and and BYU should be a really competitive matchup. We're going to give our lean on where we see the better value on the over under that total number sitting. What I would say is probably relatively high at 55 points when you look historically at these matchups between Utah State and BYU, but the Aggies have definitely shown a ability to score a lot of points this year. So as a result, you have a situation where the Aggies will probably look to get things a little bit more up-tempo and try to get more plays, more possessions, higher scoring based on what we've seen from them through the first month of the regular season. But then you have BYU still more of a traditional style squad where they slow things down, lean more on their defense, limit the number of plays and possessions, and then keep things close and try to close things out down the stretch. We'll see who's able to impose their style of football. BYU getting that home field advantage here against the Aggies, who right now stand 3-1. and one. They've been pretty impressive. The schedule that they've gone against, it's been a bit up and down. They had that really tough matchup to open things up on the road against Michigan State. And the Aggies, they had their chance to potentially win that one. They came up just short, losing by one touchdown, a final of 31-38. to And then following that, three home games in a row for the Aggies as they just absolutely demolished New Mexico State, 60-13. to Tennessee Tech, an FCS opponent, the Aggies beat them 73-12. to And then opening things up in the Mountain West, a competitive matchup, but the Aggies able to pull away from Air Force, winning that one by a final of 42 to 32. So as you can see, higher scoring games for the Aggies as they rank fourth in the nation in scoring and then 53rd in total team defense. Part of their stronger defensive numbers are against the weaker opponents that they face there in New Mexico State and Tennessee Tech with their two tougher matchups, giving up 32 and 38 points respectively against Air Force and Michigan State. So BYU, they've actually been better than probably a lot of people were expecting coming into the year and a really tough schedule. They're three and two overall. Some impressive wins uh, on the road against Arizona as well as on the road against Wisconsin. Feather in the caps for the Cougars for those two victories. And then also a three-point loss against Cal. And then this past week, tough matchup on the road against Washington. BYU came into that one as rather significant underdogs and it showed as they weren't even able to cover that larger spread, losing that one by a final of 7-35. to And in terms of their numbers, the Cougars, a bit different in comparison to the Aggies. They rank 115th in the nation in scoring average, although you do give them some uh, benefit, the fact that they've gone against a tough schedule. So it's going to be tougher to score points going against opponents like Washington and Wisconsin, for instance, but still just 115th in the nation in scoring, 116th in passing, 103rd in rushing. They lean more on their defense. They're 35th in the nation in points allowed. And the fact that BYU is getting this one at home, I feel like they can probably have some success in terms of imposing their will and tempo of play, pounding the ball on the ground with uh, what's a pretty solid ground attack, depending on the opponent that they're going against. I feel like against this Utah State squad, more so in comparison to what they faced last week with Washington, BYU should be able to have a little bit more success there and moving the chains on the ground. So the fact that this total is at 55 points, it's skewed a little bit by Utah State's offensive numbers. I feel like it's likely to be a little bit more of a defensive matchup than Utah State has tended to play in 2018. So with that being the case, we're going to go ahead and side with the under 55 points as the better value bet. If you agree, Give the video a thumbs up, disagree, give it a thumbs down. Check out all of our college football plays for this week's action over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we hope to see you guys back here for future videos.